You know, entrepreneurs, they always think they could be done a better way. Well, my next guest left mainstream media to do it all for himself. You definitely know this guy. Um, you may not have seen him before, but I guarantee you, Fifi Seven. Byron Cook, everybody. Oh, wow. I got the old jingle. <laughs> yeah. the intro, Toby. Mate, I gotta tell you, my kids are so pumped. They listen, they used to listen to you every morning. Wow. But let me uh, let, let, let me lay, lay the, the groundwork here. Your kids, by the way, very easily impressed. I mean, wow, it doesn't take much to get them going. I'd, so. like, I'd like to think so. <laughs> that'll, Although, that'll stand by you in later life. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm already out with them. <laughs> Byron Cook used to be on Fox FM here with Fifi and Fev yep. in the morning. Yep. He jumped out, he yeah. left mainstream media. Yeah, did, yeah. To do your thing. Yes, yeah. Um, it was a big play at the time, yep. but for me, mm -hmm. after 20 years in terrestrial radio yep. and doing bits and pieces on television as well, yep. you know, my read is that this is where things are going yep. um, and that that model is being challenged. It's yep. still very relevant, uh, would it, but it's being challenged. And it, so I wanted to get, you know, I wanted to be part of, I guess, the growth game rather than sort of be around for something that, that is, I think even the people in it would, would confess, certainly at its maturity and possibly on the way down the hill. Yeah, I think we were talking a little bit earlier on another, on another vlog around retailers in shopping centers really are starting to lose their true value for me, not me, but as a product manufacturer. I used to go to the retail and go, hey, will you put your, my product in your shop? Right. Yeah. And I think that the value of those traditional retail is actually diminishing purely because I have the ability to open my own Shopify account, um, launch some ads on, on Spotify, and drive my own audience and communicate with my own audience the way I want to as opposed to third party. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that traditional radio or traditional media is starting to lose its value because a young kid has put a camera here for us to tell our story and is going to broadcast it to 25,000 people. Yeah, look, look, I think so, you know, your Hit FM or your Rock FM or whatever that brand is, in your analogy, is the Coles or the Kmart. Yeah. And there was a time there where they were the gatekeepers, if you like. Totally. They decide, the shelf position was, oh, Byron seems like a talented bloke. I'm the gatekeeper. I'll decide whether or not you deserve to be put in front of people. Correct. Now, of course, that's changed. Yep. This is your shop, Shopify example. Now, anyone with the ability to engage and communicate with a group of people out there mm -hmm. doesn't need the gatekeeper, you know, the boss of Hit FM or, or Rock FM to decide that they're worthy of that opportunity. Okay. You can get out there and have a crack. Mm -hmm. Now, it might not always land, yep. but the great thing is you've got the chance for it to do so. Yep. And there's no one deciding on your shelf space, I guess. Back in the day, you couldn't even get in the shop for a lot totally. of people. Understand. Now, we're, we're all opening up our own shops, if you will. So it's, it's an exciting time. Does it mean there's a lot of people out there that want to be in this big shop? Yes. Yep. So there's a lot of competition, yep. but we're all at a more level playing field. And I think that's really exciting. Well, I actually think that you are the only person on the planet that's you. So if people want to engage in your brand and your and what you have to offer, then then it doesn't matter if I'm here or not. Yeah. On a, on a separate channel, they're engaging because of the stories and the content that you are delivering. Yeah. I, I, look, I think the, the personalities, even in the current mainstream media model, you might have your favorite television show. It might be a breakfast television show. It might be a radio show. And there might be a particular personality that you really like. Well, say it's Carl Stefanovic, for example, yep. on the Today Show. I reckon if you said to someone, what do you like? They'd say Carl Stefanovic, but they might not even remember the name of the show. Mm -hmm. They go, oh, Carl Stefanovic, I think he shows, what is it, Sunrise, Today Show? Can't remember, but I like Carl Stefanovic. Um, I don't know why I'm saying Carl Stefanovic so much. <laughs> yeah. I was just the first guy that's I'm with you. But, but yeah, the, the loyalty is to the individual. People are bigger than brands, in my opinion. Yep. And so anyone that's even in the existing mainstream landscape might be surprised if they went out to do some research on their name versus the show that they're on or the network that they're on. Uh, I, I think they'd find in most cases that the, the individual is well ahead of, of the brand. I think the relevance of the brand is has never been less relevant, to, to be honest. Yep, loud and clear. And so let's just talk about where you're at today. You've jumped off mainstream. Yes. To do your own thing. Yes. And yeah. and how's that unfolding? It's been great. Um, it's the Byron Cook Show. It's on all the platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the platforms. Yep. Um, it's been fantastic. I think for me, I had a little bit of a head start because of that traditional media yep. background. So at least in Melbourne, there were enough people, thankfully, who had some understanding of who I was, mm -hmm. that there was that built-in following, which gave me that traction or at least that, yep. that momentum. 
Um, and what, seven, eight months in, um, I've partnered with some great brands that keep coming back. Yep. Um, they've been there from day one. Um, yet putting out some great offerings to clients, to brands. Yep. Uh, and of course, most importantly, um, you know, plenty of people engaging in the content that I do every week, which, which to be honest, the way I filter the content at the moment is, would my old show have said, absolutely not, there's no way we're doing that topic. Yep. And if the answer is yes, I do it. Come on in. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. So guys, I'm gonna link, I don't know what channel you're watching this on, but it's either above or below, I'm gonna link all of Byron's details, the Byron Cook show, the website, how you can get involved. Um, Byron Cook, everyone. We're gonna have him come back in a couple months. I'd love to hear how things have evolved for you, how, how, um, how the journey of being, I guess, out on your own, doing your own thing with no limits. Yeah, I mean, um, man, this is weird for me to be your guest because I want Toby on the Byron <laughs> Cook Show. I'm in. I'm normally the guy asking the question, so this is quite strange, but would you do my show as well? With, mate, it'd be an honor. Sweet. Thank you. All right, guys, see you soon.